welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. Are you in the mood for fall? I know I am. I'm sitting here with my perfect cup of coffee. I have enjoyed this uh, brand and flavor coffee for a very long time now. And for with fall coming, it just seems like it's perfect. This is called Toasted Graham. I thought I would just show you the packaging in case you want to try it. Toasted Graham, Starbucks in the K-Cups. <clears throat> I love it. It tastes like s'mores in a cup. Seriously, guys, it's the best. So I've been enjoying that. And um, uh, hot cocos, and you know, we're bringing out sweaters and boots. And it's just going to be that time of year. <clears throat> My husband and I traveled a little bit over the weekend, and I noticed that the leaves are turning colors. And that just reminds me of all the beautiful colors. Um, that I have in my wig collection that I want to share with you today. So let's take a look at some fall colors. So it's kind of time to put away all those light blondes. Um, I've never did that before. I have never had a more diverse wig style and color collection than I do right now. And my taste just continue to grow and my mind is open. So I now have quite a few brunettes and actually some auburns that I want to show you that remind me of fall. So what does everybody do when they start to store their wigs for winter? Um, I know the first thing that I do, if I'm going to store it for a couple weeks or, or a, a couple of months, the first thing I do is wash the wig. Um, so when you put away a clean wig, it comes out clean and ready to wear. So if you've used styling products or it's just generally ready to be washed anyway and you put it away dirty, when it comes out, it's going to be stiff and it's just not going to be wearable until you until you wash it again. So I recommend washing and making sure your wig is clean and dry. And then I always save my original box and tags and everything that the wigs come in. So I arrange my wig, my clean and dry wig inside of the the hair net that it comes with or you know even sometimes that tissue paper that gives it some support from the inside of the cap. I'll put it back exactly the way it came. And um and then I make sure to put the little bit of a tag there <clears throat> up underneath the box so that I can see what it is. So when I store my wigs up on a shelf, I'll be able to see at a glance exactly what's in that box. So that's how I store my wigs. And I know everybody has a, a bit of a different method. But it's time for me to sort of rearrange my collection and start wearing some of these fall colors. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those colors that I'm going to show you today. So on this rack here, this might look a little different than it than it normally does. Usually you see a lot of blondes, kind of like you do here. Um, but this one is arranged with the fall colors that I'm going to show you. Um, so this particular one up here, this is uh, this is my a Tony Beverly Avery, and it's in Malibu blonde. So it's kind of a summer color, um, but it does have some uh, lighter auburn colors in it, I think that that would be appropriate for transitioning into fall. So I'll show you that one. And then this one is um, my Stevie by Amour in the color Honey Wheat. It's a beautiful wig with beautiful brunette with some highlights in it. And then this one is the Tony of Beverly Avery in Golden Brown. So we'll show you that one. And then I have some very unique reds. So we've got the Sunset Red. You've probably seen me wear this one before. Um, this is on Nora by Tony of Beverly. And then the Nora in 12 S28, which is a beautiful uh, brunette color. And then um, my Aesthetica Ocean <clears throat> in a beautiful brunette, I'm sorry, Auburn. A mixture of light and darker auburn shades, just gorgeous. And then this is probably the most interesting fall color that I'm going to show you. This is Tony of Beverly's Toka in the color Tangerine Twist, so that'll be a treat. Then I have um, Tony of Beverly Cali in uh, Caramel Kiss. I have my uh, Renee of Paris Brenna in Rusty Red. And uh, a favorite of mine, this is the Beltress uh, Mocha with Cream. And that's going to be on my uh, Kona today. 
and then finally the wiki here in caramel root. So I'm going to take you through a bit of a try on for these. It'll be fun. We'll just look at them pretty quickly. It's not going to be an intense review, but I'd just like to show you some of these fall colors. It's kind of like you're take, taking a drive down a country road and you're enjoying all the colors. So stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm wearing is that Tony of Beverly Avery in the color Malibu. Malibu is um, a beautiful light, light golden brown with some honey blonde highlights. I'm really getting a warm tone from this, uh, kind of like the nutmeg uh, color from uh, Noriko or Renee of Paris. This is what, what that reminds me of a lot. Now, this is not the rooted version of that Malibu, but it is a very warm tone blonde color. And I think that it's great for end of summer, early fall. Just the leaves are just starting to turn. Some of those earlier ones that you see where you're just getting a little bit of yellow and gold in there. And that's what this reminds you of. So this again is Avery by Tony of Beverly in the color Malibu. It's been so much fun kind of digging out my sweaters and boots from last year and I am really enjoying that right now. So this is going to be a fun try on for you. So again, this lovely Malibu in uh, Avery. Avery has, a, Avery has a beautiful lace front and some nice body and it actually frames the face very nicely. So if you are uh, afraid of straight styles because they will age you. I know as I age, I kind of like some texture around the face just because it kind of takes away from um, noticing too much on the, around the eyes. So uh, this is real cute and it does give you some nice face framing layers there. Be right back. So I'm back and I am wearing Stevie by Amour in the color Honey wheat and this is like a very beautiful ash brown with some golden blonde highlighting i love this wig because it's so realistic it has a double monofilament top, which gives the illusion of scalp. And it has these wonderful, really short curved bangs that really just blend back into that style. A lace front is not needed on this style. It's just gorgeous and very, very realistic. Um, I think the density on this one is very nice. It's not too thick and the movement is really very nice for a long wig. It looks really cute put up or drawn off to the side. It's so easy to wear and so realistic. This is an awesome one to braid and you can even do a little bit of braiding off to the side there too. Limited permatees, just it has this full mono top that's just gorgeous, and then I just don't sense any permatees in this wig right now. So I know there's probably some, but I'm not sensing it, and it's not heavy at all. So this is a beautiful, another beautiful fall wigs in color and style.
Be right back. All right, so now I have on Tony of Beverly Avery in the color Golden Brown. This is a beautiful shade. It just seems so plain. The word Golden Brown to me just seems plain. This is a very dynamic color. So what you have here is a, a light to medium Golden Brown with some blonde highlighting. And that's very finely highlighted and well blended, so you're not going to see any anything dramatic or chunky but it's just enough to give that beautiful dimension and I love this one for this was my first brunette love um, when I was sent this wig back in the the, uh, the spring um, I fell in love with it instantly I didn't think I would because again I'm just kind of getting out of that blonde mode into some other shades so this is just gorgeous and again Avery with that beautiful lace front finely dense fibers fine denier very nice feathery feel to it uh, some permatease there on top as you would expect and then just open cap This has been Avery in Golden Brown. Hang in there. So I've shown you this one quite a few times, but a fall colors review would not be complete without this color. This is Nora by Tony of Beverly, and the color is Sunset Red. So a beautiful mixture of medium to dark auburns with some very light coppery highlights and Irish red, just gorgeous and glowing like the leaves are at their peak. This is what that reminds me of. See some of those maples that just absolutely look like they're on fire. Um, they're so beautiful at their peak. This hair just moves so effortlessly. I just, just love swinging it around. It's the hair I always, always wanted. So up next is the Tony of Beverly Nora in 12S28, which is a beautiful a medium golden brown color with some ash blonde highlighting. And then there's some caramely notes as well and kind of graduates into a little bit of a darker nape and you'll really see some of those caramely tones. So this is so rich and luxurious of a color um, that I don't want to leave that out of the fall colors lineup. You walk past them and they fall off. This must be the one, the same one that I've been having trouble with. It's not quite flat on the bottom. So that appears to be a problem and I'll be switching that one out. Okay, up next, a fantastic color for fall. Probably um, my favorite color going into this season. Be right back at a look at an aesthetic style. All right, so here it is. This is Aesthetica Ocean in the color 302826. I think that's it. 302826 RT4. So it's a beautiful blend of medium auburn, light auburn, and butterscotch blonde with a dark brown root. It is so dynamic and so fabulous. It just reminds me of um, just a sun burnished look at the end of summer when everybody's tans have peaked 
and the, the sun has lightened their hair. I remember being young um, and actually having some hair and having this great tan when you go back to school and your hair is sun bleached. It was great. So this reminds me of that burnished, sun burnished auburn look that I think is so perfect for fall. So Aesthetica has, Aesthetica Ocean has the um, very, very deep lace front, open cap, quite a bit of permatease here, but it features all these beautiful, beautiful waves. Love this style. Gorgeous. Okay, so up next we're going to take a look at probably the craziest color I've ever seen um, on a wig. And it's really, really pretty and it's growing on me. So be right back with a look at Tony of Beverly Toka in the color Tangerine Twist. Okay, so here it is, Tony of Beverly Toka in the color Tangerine Twist. And this is a beautiful blend of some dark auburns, some light auburns, and some butterscotch blonde. And they are not shy about blending these colors. These are very dramatic highlights. You're going to see all kinds of things going on here like confetti. If you can see those light auburn strands coming through there and then the chunky uh, golden blonde strands coming through there. I hope you can pick up on that. It's just, it's so unique. And when it came in the box and I took it out, it had that, um, it had that shine to it, you know, like with the silicone and things that they put on the wigs and it was kind of stringy <clears throat> and each one of those colors kind of just stood out on its own and I thought oh my gosh it just reminded me of confetti or something um, but obviously then I got it on my head I started working with it just to separate that from being in the box and it's really coming to life for me I absolutely love this style and I've got a review coming up on this wig um, so I won't go into it too much I just wanted to show you the color because it's just perfect. It embodies everything about fall. You've got the dark auburn, you've got the bright, fiery, light auburn, coppery strands, and then the butterscotch blonde. So up close you can really see all of those different uh, colors just popping individually there. But if you get a little farther away, it just looks like a reddish auburn color with uh, some butterscotch blonde highlighting to it. So dynamic. about Toka, it looks like it has a ton of hair, doesn't it? A lot of volume, but it's it's really not. You know, there is some permatease. It's just an, uh, a standard cap wig, um, no lace or monofilament, but it's super lightweight. It just looks really full and voluptuous. And the movement is really awesome. Okay, so up next, Okay, so up next I'm going to show you one that I absolutely love. I picked this one up on the wigcloseouts.com site, which is the clearance for sister wigs. This is Callie by Tony of Beverly in the color Caramel Kiss. 
Um, this is a medium golden brown with some very chunky butterscotch blonde highlighting. I think it's perfect for this style because it highlights all of this shaggy texture. I am loving this. It's very classy, very different from what I think I see in the, the stock photos. Um, maybe it's just the color because it's so heavily highlighted, but it just is so interesting and classy. These shaggy layers up the back these longer pieces in the front. Now, Kelly is, is just a, an open cap wig, so there's some permatease, not a lot. I expected much more permatease just to keep this, to keep the lift, but the way the fibers are sewn in there um, and the shaggy texture of it just keeps it, keeps it lifted and alive. Such a rich color. This is one short wig that I'm really going to love to wear this fall. sometimes we think of those beautiful heavier longer styles but this one won't it look so cute with a, a sweater or a, a turtleneck um, a scarf with a little bit of a hat because of these longer pieces it's so gorgeous okay so hang in there we got some more to show you Okay, so up next, another one that I still have the tags on. I ordered this color because I love this style so much. I wore it all year in the, um, the Rose Gold R. So I thought I might try it in Rusty Red. This is Renee of Paris's Brenna in the color Rusty Red. So Rusty Red is just a combination of some dark and medium auburns with a little bit of a light rust, almost a butterscotchy blonde effect to it. Very well blended. I like this better than the Crimson LR. I think it's a little more dynamic, and this is not a rooted color. love Brenna. It's just so easy to wear. Um, one of my all-time favorite everyday wigs is Dolce by Noriko, and this really reminds me of Dolce, uh, except for it has a beautiful lace front and a left mono side part. That gives you a sense of some of those beautiful highlights running through this color. It's so dynamic. And it's not a, a in-your-face kind of a red. It's just a uh, very subtly highlighted and soft. It's not a punch of color, but it's very classy. Okay, hang in there. So I'm back and I am wearing uh, Ellen Villa Wiki in the color Caramel Rooted. This is, I've owned several wikis, and this is the frizziest texture I think I've had. It's very light and super soft, but it's very frizzy in, in texture. And you know what? I love it. Sometimes I'm just in that kind of mood um, where I can really pull this off. Just, it's very artistic. It's bohemian. It's carefree, and I do absolutely love it. So I would uh, have a hard time trying to find something to compare this to unless I moved over to uh, like an afro from the African-American type wigs. Um, but in terms of uh, Caucasian's uh, texture and density on this, it is, it's like a Caucasian afro. And when I was young, I had hair much like this, especially in the summertime because it was so frizzy and fine and thin and natural curly that just kind of frizzed up. So if you would have told me then that I would buy a wig that looked like that, 
I would have said, you're crazy, no way. <laughs> and here I am. So how I've been wearing this is, and I don't have uh, the exact clips that I use, but just to bring some of that texture um, away from the sides, just to kind of reduce the, uh, the volume a little bit, but keeping some of that texture around the face um, so it's really been working out well for me because I just like I said I'm just in that mood sometimes isn't the color gorgeous this caramel light caramel brown with some lighter gold blonde highlighting And I chose that for uh, to show you for fall because the uh, who doesn't think of fall when you think of caramel caramel apples beautiful golden shades all right so up next one of my favorites that I've been wearing lately and this will take me through fall because it's super beautiful and rich Alright, so here is another style that I picked up uh, at a very good price at the wigcloseouts.com, which is the Sister Wigs uh, clearance. This is uh, Kona by Beltras in the color Mocha with Cream. I did not expect to love this color as much as I do. It's absolutely beautiful. A medium golden brown base with all of this beautiful uh, gold blonde highlighting just so rich and delicious looking and then it has this uh, dark brown root so the texture just absolutely pops with this color this mocha with cream I like it so much better than I do the vanilla lush that I have uh, in this style and uh, this does have a lace front and a left monofilament side part which gives it some very nice realistic realism. Um, the other thing that I did was because when I when I first put it on, it appeared to be really flat on my head, and I do like a little bit of lift. And if you know anything about the Beltres Cafe Collection, there's very limited permatees in those styles, so I really kind of count on the permatees to keep the style lifted for me. They love this texture just the way it is. So what I did is I took some steam and a bit of a round brush and steamed all up underneath um, that front just to give it a little bit of lift there at the front which is exactly what I wanted and felt like I needed for this style I love styling with steam I think it, it uh, it's softer it's less damaging and it kind of holds a little bit better as well I think that um, it just is overall a little more gentle on the wig even though it's heat friendly Just beautiful textured wig. I'll actually be doing a review of the Beltress Rosella that I have in this color too, and that's really when I fell in love with it. Was on the Rosella. All right, so that concludes my um, my fall colors lineup. We've just gone down a country road in the fall, so we can see all those beautiful colors. So it's time to bring it to an end. Don't forget to uh, go out to Sister Wigs YouTube channel. I am going to have my fall trends series beginning, I think next week, if all goes according to plan, it'll begin on October 11th and it'll run through the end of November. So you'll get to check out a lot of trends. I surveyed some of my Instagram friends and asked them what they'd like to see in a fall series. And the overwhelming response was, uh, just want to see what the fall trends are. 
and also curls. Curls are always popular. So there's something for everybody in this series, so be sure to check that out. And now what I'd like to do is just to give you a real close-up look quickly of all the wigs that I've shown you in this, uh, in this short little try-on here so you can see them up close. So let's begin with Avery in Malibu Blonde. Golden brown and honey tones, giving it a nice warm effect. All right. Next was the uh, more Stevie in uh, Honey Wheat. Beautiful medium brown. Some light golden blonde highlighting. Gorgeous. Okay. And then next we have the Tony of Beverly Avery. And Avery is in golden brown, which is a medium golden brown with some blonde highlighting, some pale gold blonde, not pale, uh, medium gold blonde highlight. Just so dynamic. Sunset Red on Tony of Beverly Nora. We've talked about this color. Gorgeous and dynamic mixture of light medium auburns, Irish red, and butterscotch blonde, or light copper, I want to say. Light copper right in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Tony of Beverly 12 S28, a golden brown, a medium gold brown base with some pale, or I'm sorry, some ash blonde highlighting and some caramely tones at the nape, some darker tones at the nape. Beautiful, beautiful color. This is my Anesthetica Ocean in the color uh, 302826, a combination of light and dark auburns with some um, more butterscotch blondes at the front. Beautiful and dynamic. So crazy about this color. There's actually a, a number four root there. Um, a little bit medium to dark on the root. Beautiful, beautiful blending of colors there. Then you have this crazy toka in Tangerine Twist. So I'll get close up on this one. You can see all the different strands. So here you've got the light auburn, almost like copper, darker auburns, and then the blondes, the, the really chunky blonde highlights there, butterscotch. Very coarsely blended. You've got a lot going on in this color. So up close you can really see the individual strands. And then from afar, it's a much softer effect. There's that wiki and caramel rooted. Beautiful golden, um, light golden brown base with some golden blonde and highlights. And then it's rooted, medium brown root. Here's rusty red on my Brenna. Beautiful, beautiful color. You can see the dark auburns, the lighter auburns. And then what they call light rust, which appears to be just like a golden blonde highlighting pattern to it. Very soft and dynamic. Love that color, it's not rooted. 
Okay, then finally, Kelly. We just saw Kelly, and this is the uh, Caramel Kiss Light uh, Medium Golden Brown with some very chunky Butterscotch Blonde highlighting. Love, love, love this color. So flattering on this style, too. All right, so I hope that was helpful to you because sometimes when you see them really up close, you can really tell uh, what that color looks like. I do have a combination of some natural light coming through the window. It's more diffuse. I don't have any direct harsh light there. And then also some um, a light ring here, which is the LED. So you'll be able to see with a couple different lighting scenarios. Lighting is so hard to nail down when you're making videos. It's so dynamic it's always changing and moving so we will do the best we can to get you those colors uh, as accurately as possible so everybody have a great fall we'll talk again soon at taz's weight closet